What is a part of history that we consider to be a fact is 100 fake. Einstein never failed math. The rumor started from Ripley's believe it or not and Einstein actually responded to them saying I never failed in mathematics. Before I was 15 I had mastered differential and integral calculus. He wasn't very good at the non-science related classes though and did fail French. The Boston Tea Party didn't have some grand celebration, a lot of the colonists were confused and it's recorded as one of Boston's most quiet nights. General public not being aware that classical Greece and Rome had colored paints all over those statues, much less colored dyes in their clothes. This is a little niche, but it's been a long-held belief in the gaming community that one of Nintendo's business ventures before getting into the video game market was love hotels, hourly hotels whose main purpose is to knock boots in. This has been repeated as fact alongside their other historical ventures like playing cards, taxes, instant food, and toys. But last year a Nintendo enthusiast did a dive into their historical financial records and found no definitive proof that they ever ran or were associated with love hotels in any way. Ned Kelly's last words being such is life. That was made up by the reporter. So many osses have it tattooed or have big stickers on their 4x4s. But I guess oh well doesn't have the same ring to it. Ninjas dressed in all black to stay stealthy in the night or something like that. Ninjas dressed like normal people to blend in, the all black look stemmed from Japanese theater to make it more obvious to the audience who the ninjas were. If they wore all black it'd be quite obvious and they'd stick out like a sore thumb. Marie Antoinette saying let them eat cake. That Hitler was a raging, shouting maniac in person. I think we want to believe that he would be that way because the idea that someone who was polite and low-key could be so evil is really disturbing. According to his personal secretary and many people who knew him, Hitler rarely showed anger and was subdued but friendly in private. Traudel Young was there during the incident that inspired the scene in the movie Downfall that became a meme and she said that she was completely shocked to hear Hitler raise his voice she had worked for him for over two years. That people used swords and axes all the time. Spears. It's spears, most of human history has been spears. Vikings used spears, samurai and knights used spears. Hell, bayonets exist because people felt you always need a spear, even with a rifle in your hand. William Blake said, when the stars threw down their spears, and watered heaven with their tears. Which is stupid. No one throws down their spear. Spears are great for poking people to death. Romans indulged in food so much they had a special place to go and vomit so they could eat more. Maybe that has been dispelled by now but many still believe it. Whatever the fuck is on the History Channel nowadays. Carrots are good for eye health, but won't improve your eyesight. Nevertheless, people have been telling me all my life I should eat carrots to see better. The reason people think that is during WW2 the Royal Air Force had this new radar system and they didn't want the Germans to know about it, so they spread the rumor that the reason their pilots could find their planes so fast was that they ate carrots. Lemmings just run off a cliff to their deaths every year. Thanks for that one, Disney. There is a joke saying that Austria's greatest success is making everyone believe that Mozart was Austrian and Hitler was German. Edison and the light bulb. Dude was a total dick in general. Paul Revere did not ride from Boston to Lexington. He got as far as Cambridge. Israel Bissell, however, did ride all the way to Lexington. Bill Clinton did in fact have sex with that woman. The Irish famine wasn't just a natural disaster there was plenty of food in Ireland, it was just exported to Britain. Edit Clarity So many people completely misunderstand pre-industrial lifespans. The average age of death was 30 not because our bodies wore out faster, but because of how averages are calculated. A lot of people died as children. A much larger chunk of the population died in wars. If you got in an accident, healing without modern medicine was difficult. But for people who reached adulthood, and then avoided violence, injury, and plague, living to be 60 or 70 was pretty normal. A stegosaurus fighting a T-Rex. They lived millions of years apart. 
Stegosaurus 144 lived million years ago, T Rex 65 million years ago. Insane difference. Still, almost most every dinosaur related media places them together. That Hitler had one testicle and Napoleon was short. Almost everything about the medieval times. Our image of it is highly influenced by Hollywood. That you should drink eight glasses of eight ounces of water a day. Those numbers come from a paper written decades ago in reference to an adult male with a particular body mass. Women, who are generally much smaller, require far less, according to that one paper. Yet people of all ages and sizes quote it as if it were a 100 absolute fact. Not fake, but the Boston Massacre was not evil redcoats shooting peaceful American protesters. That protest was anything but peaceful. It was basically a riot. They were throwing rocks and other objects at the redcoats, trying to goad them into something. The soldiers probably had orders not to shoot, but they were outnumbered and scared, so finally they fired. They were arrested and tried. John Adams the future second president defended them in court. And won. That the Indians and the pilgrims sat down at a big table at Thanksgiving and shared a big happy meal. Vikings wore horned helmets. They didn't, sorry. That George Washington had wooden teeth. He had false teeth, yes. But they were made of ivory. He never had wooden teeth. Most anything to do with pilgrims, in America at least. That War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy was initially titled War, What Is It Good For? For most historical things that's just how people were then. Columbus was known and criticized for being excessively cruel. There have been slavery abolitionists in every era. Etc., etc. As a Texan there is so much Alamo law that's straight BS. The Trojan horse wasn't real. Historians are all pretty much unanimous on this. A lot of people think the whole women and children first was a standard belief in the past but, as even I've learned recently, that happening during the Titanic and Birkenhead were anomalies. It's not maritime law or common practice. I think most of what I learned about the Spanish-American War was BS designed to sell some pretty naked imperialism. A big myth is that the blood stripe worn on the dress pants of United States Marine Corps NCOs, staff NCOs, and officers came from the bloodshed in the Battle of Chapultepec. That however is false, the origins coming a couple years prior to the battle when the Marine Corps decided to adopt them as an additional uniform item. This known fact is whispered from ear to ear but many Marines refuse to believe due to the cultural impact of the fable. Jesus wasn't born in December. That Abraham Lincoln was a vampire hunter, I don't trust that biopic. Catherine the Great never had sex with horses. Those were rumors started by her enemies. You can see the Great Wall of China from space. Marie Antoinette didn't tell them to eat cake. Martin Luther never nailed his 95 theses to a church door. They were distributed in a series of letters. Darmak and Jalad at Tanagra. That Hitler failed to invade Russia due to not taking winter clothes. If anything, winter helped because it froze the mud they were traveling over. It was more due to lack of oil, overextended supply lines and the fanaticism of the defenders. Russia was simply too big, too resource-laden, too rich in manpower to be defeated. It was a black hole into which Hitler poured all his troops and resources in. Even if they took Moscow, Stalin would have just retreated into the Urals and the whole deal would repeat itself again. I'm still questioning if 42 is the actually answer to everything. People who think the moon ISNT made of cheese like come on guys it's obvious. That Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. Gandhi wasn't as good as he was made out to be, 